Data scientist is the top job in America for the second year in a row, according to a new report. So I bet you're wondering what in the world does a data scientist do and how do you get to become one? Allison Morris is going to tell us. Hello. We hear about this all the time, guys. Mm -hmm. Everyone's saying data scientist, data scientist, data scientist. And we're like, OK, but what? What do they do? So for starters, data scientists speak a language I can't understand. Mm. Several of them, actually. In fact, I still go back and forth between saying data and data scientists. But uh -oh, we this, just did it. Yeah, I do it all the time. I can't figure out which one is right. This is data, the uh, hottest job right now, with 4,600 openings in New York alone, over 37,000 nationwide. And there is an academy in Manhattan where you can train to be one if you qualify. I was a, a nuclear physicist at Brookhaven National Lab. I graduated from Princeton in 2013 with a degree in math, and I uh, immediately went to, I worked on the trading floor at Morgan Stanley. I traded mortgage-backed securities. I was working at a nonprofit called Science Club for Girls. Yeah, I was working for an international education company teaching debate, actually, for high school students in Ooh. China. And now they're all training to become data scientists at the New York City Data Science Academy in Midtown Manhattan. As you can see, one number of them will be negative one. The other hundred will be one. We are teaching a lot of skills here. We want to help our students hit ground running on day one. So we're teaching the most popular machine learning language and data analytics language, which is R and Python. We also cover um, Hadoop and Spark, so they can do big data auto-memory analysis. We cover SQL, we cover Linux, we cover GitHub. Vivian Zhang and Chris Nemeth run the academy, offering a 12-week data science boot camp for $16,000, so students can learn what things like R and Python and Hadoop and Spark actually mean. Python and R and Hadoop and Spark are all open source languages that people can use for uh, deploying pretty sophisticated solutions for businesses. This year, data scientists topped Glassdoor's list of the best jobs in America for the second year in a row. Based on its number of openings, job satisfaction, an impressive median-based salary of $110,000. Students at the New York City Data Science Academy often see a salary bump right away. We have seen a lot of good outcomes. We have one student get $85,000 more right after the boot camp in three months. Data scientists analyze information at big tech companies like Amazon and Google, banks like Goldman Sachs, retailers like Walmart, even in the magazine business at Condé Nast, all of which have job listings in the $100,000 range right now. Most of the industries uh, that are here in New York, um, finance, media, healthcare, technology, being uh, very interested in using data and data science to create a competitive advantage for themselves. So what does it take to be a candidate for the boot camp program? People should have a comfort with math and uh, an ability to learn how to code. 80% of our students are STEM major, mm -hmm. but when people apply to us with non-traditional STEM major background, we also accept them and help them to achieve their goal. The academy takes about three dozen students in each boot camp, and not all of them are STEM majors or coders. Chris and Vivian told me they had a bartender who was really into data and really passionate about learning, and he graduated from boot camp and is now a successful data analyst. Nice. These guys are smart, though. I mean, these I guys are really, really it's like smart. When we started this story, I'm like, oh, is this something I could do? And I'm like, oh, I know. Yeah. I spent about a, a couple of hours there, and by the time we left, I said, I think I understand some of what you're saying. Right. But yeah. Right. That wow. is the future, though. We are creating more and more data by the second. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Allison.